managers love to talk about candidates who lie during the interview process. But do you want to hear a secret? Maybe a secret nobody in hiring, interviewing, and careers is talking about? Hiring managers lie during the interviews too. In today's video, I'm going to give you some statistics on how frequently hiring managers actually lie in the interview, and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is they lie about and how you can try to pull out the truth of them during your interview. I've been in interviewing and recruiting for about 15 years. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what those things are so you can avoid those situations. Let's go. Now, according to Resume Builder, hiring managers lie, or admitted to lying, 40% of the time in interviews. And those are the ones who admitted to it. Like, so four out of 10 hiring managers admitted they have lied during a job interview. But how many hiring managers lied about that? I mean, right? I mean, think about it. Four of them said yes, but how many more hiring managers actually lied during the interview? Now, this can be incredibly dangerous as for a candidate because they are lying about things to try to get you to take the job. This brings me to my next point. Why? Why would a hiring manager lie about something in the interview? Well, there's a few reasons, but hiring managers lie about things for the same reasons candidates sometimes lie about things. They're trying to make it appear better than it is, right? They're trying to hide things that aren't great about the job or things about their reputation. Basically, hiring managers, if they really want a candidate and they're talking to this candidate and they feel that saying something or admitting something is going to lower the probability of them being able to land that candidate, that is where some hiring managers might lie. But you're probably wondering, what are the specific things hiring managers are lying about? I'm about to tell you what those things are right now. Hey, but before I get into that, do me a favor. If you're liking this video, if you're finding value, hit that like button. It is free. It tells YouTube I don't suck. And it motivates me to make more videos like this. And it really helps the channel. And if you're willing to do that, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss one of my three free weekly videos all designed to help you land your dream job and maximize your career. Now, the first things hiring managers lie about is role responsibility. They are going to lie about exactly what the person is responsible for in the role. Now, maybe they do this because they don't want you to know about some of the menial tasks you're doing or some of the tasks that they don't think you're going to like or you don't want to hear about. But the reality is hiring managers do on occasion lie about what you are going to need to do for the job. Now, the way I like to get around this um, and the way I recommend candidates get around this is ask about what a week in the life of this person is going to look like. And then when they tell you about it, ask them about some of the specific metrics or tools or metrics and tools that this person will have access to. See, this is like peeling back the layers of an onion. The more you ask, the harder it, the harder it is for like a hiring manager to can maintain any sort of lie or mistruth. So as you go through it, ask more questions, probe a little bit further, and you're gonna be able to understand what it is you're going to be measured on. Another great question is, what does this person need to accomplish in the first six months in order for you to consider this hire to be a success? And when they answer that, being like, great. Um, so what are the tools, what are the training? Just digging in and asking about how this person is gonna be supported. Basically, the more you ask about the role, about the responsibilities, about how this person's going to be measured, how they're supported, how they are equipped to get it done, the harder it is for this hiring manager to maintain any lies. And the next thing hiring managers lie about is career growth. And I find this to be incredibly frustrating because a lot of the reasons people actually move, move from one company to another, is because they believe they're going to be able to achieve career growth with a new organization. So if hiring managers are actually lying about this, well, that's incredibly deceptive and it's really frustrating. So the way you can get around this is do some research, right? So what I would recommend doing is going onto LinkedIn, uh, going onto the company page, finding people who have been in this role that you are interviewing for and find, have they been promoted, right? So if you go to the team and you see a senior version of what you wanna be and you look at their LinkedIn profile and they've been promoted at the company two or three times, you can feel really good about that. But what if you go to the company page and you look at some of the employees and you look at their history within the organization and you don't see that growth. In fact, you can't find it anywhere. And you look at the specific team you are going to be on and you don't see any growth. Well, that could lead you to believe, ah, maybe people aren't being promoted within the organization. Um, I would also ask about this. In the interview, you can ask the hiring manager, can you tell me um, about some of the growth that's available for people on your team? And then when they talk about it, be like, great. Can you tell me, um, you know, how many members of your team have been able to grow like you just told me, you know, you know, you want to ask about it. 
Um, but if you ask questions around that, do your research, you should have a pretty good idea if they are being truthful when it comes to your ability to grow within the organization. The next thing hiring managers lie about is professional development. And this is all from that survey, by the way. The survey listed these three things. And the third thing, professional development. So this is learning that you're gonna be able to do on the job. Maybe it's from shadowing other people. Maybe it's from uh, cross-department collaboration. Maybe it's uh, going to different um, you know, conferences or learning that they have for people in the job. But basically hiring managers are exaggerating the amount of growth and development you might experience as an employee. This is a great thing to ask uh, in the interview. Just ask what are the resources for growth and development. Let them know growth and development is really important to you and see how easily they're able to convey the different things and avenues that they have for growth. If they struggle with it and they have a hard time detailing the different specific things you can grow uh, and learn, that might be an issue. But it's an easy way to ask and you're just gonna have to you know, rely on yourself to be able to read them. Does it seem like they are being forthcoming? Does it seem like this is accurate? Does it seem like they are being truthful? Have you ever wondered if your boss can see that you're open to work on LinkedIn? You go on LinkedIn, you click open to work, and all of a sudden you're getting message from recruiters, it's great, but can your boss see that? Well, I actually made a whole video on it right here. This video tells you every single thing you need to know about clicking open to work on LinkedIn. And some of it, well, it's a bit dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm done here, but I'll see you over there.